wash your hands before applying your skincare after you applied your hair care. Good morning everyone. I just took my best everything shower that I have ever taken to be honest with you. The past few days I have been really really badly struggling with my winter uglies and I'm not trying to be mean to myself but I was truly not feeling it. So I think it was last week Wednesday, uh, middle of the night, I woke up with a very very sharp pain um, on my right hand side like back I have no idea what happened but like my muscle was completely locked pretty much like this side and I was in bed for like three days with my heating pad and like my uh, warm water bottle and all of that um, it was just like unbelievably uncomfortable I couldn't even lift a glass with my right hand because it would like put pressure on my uh, back Anyway, I didn't get to the bottom of it, but I was in bed for three days and it was very, very, very uncomfortable. I didn't have time to wash my hair or fake tan um, and I just was not feeling it. The weather has been miserable the past few days. I know everybody from Europe will be like, you live in LA, you have nothing to complain about the weather. I agree with you, but at the same time for us, this is cold. It gets freezing cold sometimes. Like something that we're not used to so that's why um we can't cope with it pretty much um we're going to have rainy days uh tomorrow the next day like for the next three days basically which i'm kind of looking forward to it but also i'm not looking forward to it um yesterday i was like tomorrow is the day that i'm going to get rid of my like literally winter uglies because i just can't go on like this so i woke up this morning went on my walk after four days because again my back was hurting i couldn't do anything and did an everything shower because as i mentioned i needed to get rid of my winter uglies i also wrote a blog post of how to uh bit the winter blues because it is real winter blues are real it affects us mentally physically emotionally and um there are just few things that every throughout the years uh, better said I learned um, that helped me to um, basically get rid of that winter blues and like deal with them better I'm going to link that uh, blog post for you guys in the description box below it's a very quick read fun read and it truly helps me so I really hope that it helps you as well uh, but one of the things in that blog post is basically making sure that you're on top of your beauty regimen and making sure you're feeling good you know how you scroll through your Instagram and you come across your um, your summer pictures and you're like my hair is fabulous and it's not dry my skin is glowy my tan is there and you feel nothing like that so we're trying to just fake that pretty much so i took my everything shower i scrubbed off my tan i exfoliated which i wanted to talk to you guys about uh these products that i use in shower oh actually let me go back to last night because i did a pre wash treatment so you guys know i'm a huge fan of um rosemary um i use rosemary water on a daily basis every single night i apply rosemary water on my hair and then once a week um i do rosemary oil usually the one that i use is from amazon and it's the most famous one that everybody uses on tiktok uh, but i just finished it and just in time i received this um in pr um this is from a brand called brigio i hope i'm saying that correctly um, this is the rosemary pre-wash oil and love the bottle um, so basically you section your hair and apply this on your roots and then um, you can leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then shower but on the website it said that um, for the best result leave it overnight so I did this last night on my roots and then on my ends I did a mixture of these two obviously you don't have to go for the same products just use any rosemary oil on your um, roots and then any kind of conditioning um, hair mask or oil on your ends whatever that you have you don't have to go buy exact products but 
personally i really like this product so this is the Kerastase overnight um, hair mask this does not need to be rinsed off but i apply so much of it that usually the next day i can't restyle my hair so i use it as a pre-wash hair mask and also i love this um hair oil a lot of people say it's too thick it's like literally it's like honey it's like that thick one i love the smell of it and two i love how hydrating it is this is a sol de janeiro brazilian glossy nourishing hair oil and it makes a huge difference in my hair like just it makes my hair so much softer if i use this before i wash my hair so that was last night and today in the shower i did my regular um shampoo i used this way scalp and body scrub to get rid of my fake tan i also also um scrubbed uh, my scalp which i have a very very thin um skin um overall all over my body um so i can't use a lot of harsh products on my um scalp so um i go for scalp like scalp treatments like this that are very very fine if i have to exfoliate my um scalp um this does not irritate my hair pretty much and does not irritate my body either because um it is such a fine scrub that just melts into your skin pretty much but gets the job done and i also after i shampooed my hair this is a new product from way and it's a hair gloss usually i have to get my hair professionally glossed anya does it every time that i do my hair uh, because one thing that bleach does besides ruining your hair is takes away the shine of your hair and 99% of the time I have to add the shine after I blow dry my hair with oils and all of that because obviously damaged hair which is doing so much better nowadays I did cut a few more inches off again which on my Instagram people were like we can't tell if you cut your hair actually I'm like how do you not see the difference especially from the back anyway that's a topic for another day I did cut I think like one more inch maybe not even but just a tad bo tad bit more um i forgot even what i was saying yeah damaged hair usually damaged hair don't have that much shine to them uh, so you have to add the shine after you blow dry your hair and i think this is so genius that it gives you the shine uh before like even you blow dry your hair like you don't need to add too much oil i think this is such a genius idea the only thing would be if i blow dry my hair if my hair will feel greasy that's something that i don't ever experience i don't have greasy hair whatsoever if anything i have very dry hair so i'm like interested to see if this will make my hair greasy because i've heard a lot of shiny products make your hair greasy so we will put that to test after i blow dry my hair how you use this is basically after your shower after your shampoo you apply this and you leave it on for five minutes and then you rinse it off so that's what i did and then obviously i did my skincare i did my after shower hair care uh, i'm going to apply my fake tan which you all know is saint tropez i'm going to apply this one i talked so much that my uh, memory is full give me one second we're back again uh, i'm going to apply my fake tan which is the saint tropez one this is their um Lux whipped cream mousse love 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 the texture of this i'm actually going to fake tan my face as well because i need all the help i need the glow um this is their um Lux tan tonic drops um and i'm going to probably do two layer of this because i want to be extremely dark i miss my like summer tan i was planning on getting ready doing my hair and everything and then unboxing let me put you guys down then unboxing uh my target order but to be honest with you my hair is not yet fully like dry i like it to be at least like 90 percent dry and then i blow dry it and also i'm going out tonight so oh my god i just noticed this broke which one of them I just took our um what's this okay i have to glue this back anyway um yeah i'm going out tonight we are having a girls night with my friends oja and anya and my sister we're going to a very cool wine bar and i don't want to get ready in the morning i was like i'll just get ready in the afternoon that means i'm going to be fresh face for you all the entire day i actually want to reorganize the house in a sense of 
after the uh, after we took down the christmas decor i have not yet organized anything literally nothing the um you know the coffee table um the core that we had the dining table the core that we had everything was in basically like a storage box and now all of them are out all over <laughs> this table so nothing is like organized our shelf is a mess everything is pretty much like their own on the shelf and all of that so i need to reorganize things but this is the thing i'm not going to buy anything obviously i'm going to do why did i say obviously because i'm planning on buying other things so let me correct myself i will try to rearrange everything with whatever we got obviously but then i feel like there is little few bits and bobs that i want to add for example i for sure want a new table runner i just don't like ours um, it's not that it's ugly i just want something new so i want to go to home goods and anthropology but i'll do that tomorrow i just thought today i'll organize everything and then the write down list of things that i would want and then when tomorrow i'm going shopping i'll only shop for the items that i need um, besides the living room and the dining room i'm actually changing things in my uh, bedroom as well i mentioned in my previous video that i want to rearrange my perfume section and that little shelf and i'm also um in the process of changing all the frames on top of my bed uh, i don't know if you guys remember it or not i have not vlogged from that angle in a pretty long time uh, but um, above my bed i have like a gallery wall i want to change those frames currently they're black but i want to change them to like a vintage gold and then the wall that you usually you guys see the big wall i want to put one big painting ideally there um and then um like i want to add like a light on top but first i'm going to unbox a few frames that i got from target let me actually bring the box i'm so excited to get into this package you have no idea because this i ordered it probably two weeks ago and then it arrived a week ago and i didn't open it because i wanted to open it on camera and obviously with my back i was not able to start vlogging earlier so i'm very very excited to get into this package this is not going to help the recovery of my back but let's just go with it it was not that heavy but with my broken back it's heavy for me okay actually let me put this box on the floor i still have no plan of action of what am i going to do with them but i really really like the frame that it comes in okay that was a struggle so I just thought I'll just buy them and then I'll decide what to do with them. Oh my god, this is so adorable. I love the frame of this. It's so cute. How stunning is this? I really like the painting that it comes in it as well, but I find it a little bit odd that it's just teeny tiny and then this big frame. So this is the first one. Ooh, I love this one too. This is so pretty and they uh, go perfectly with each other okay this is the second one the other one was packed in probably like 100 layers of paper this one is packed in just a bag i don't think that's fair oh but this is pretty this one's gold frame is not as vibrant as these ones this one is a little bit of a darker gold it has a lot of silver in it but I kind of like them next to each other um, I'll see this one is a square which I normally don't go for square frames but I just thought it could be cute I really like the paintings that they come in it as well before I order more online I'm gonna go to home goods tomorrow as I mentioned and I'm gonna look to see if I can find something there I'm pretty sure like home goods will have a little bit of a cheaper version of the target or other websites so i think this one can go on the big wall um because it's not too small not too big to be honest with you not crazy about this one but i love these two so i think what i'm going to do is basically order the same frame um like two of the same frames and have them like this pretty much uh, no like this actually so these two like this and then the same frames on the opposite sides i think that would be cute or if i saw something at um home goods 
uh, that goes with the color of these two oh, this is actually this way <laughs> um, with the colors of these two i can do that the painting inside is pretty but i don't think i want to keep this um just they're not very much my vibe um to be honest with you i have not thought about what i'm gonna put in them but um we'll figure something out uh but i think this one like this will look cute on the big wall but obviously i have to change the um picture inside this one as well i didn't show you guys the process because to be honest with you it was a little bit chaotic um it didn't come out the way that i wanted it to come out because we don't have that much storage so pretty much the bar card is the drink storage so whatever we had i put it here pretty much like the chasers and stuff i put it in the cabinet but the rest of them are here i just switched a few things i put this cookie glasses on top is that what they're called i believe so um i just put those on top and then um i'm just gonna add the fresh flowers to this this is um basically a drink shaker i just took the lid off and we're gonna put fresh flowers because i feel like it needs a little bit of a height i don't know i feel like overall it looks empty like it needs a little bit of a height so that's how the bar card is looking to be honest with you it is not my favorite thing but for the time being it's gonna stay there until we move the shelf back and then here's the coffee table decor it's nothing major just candles um what do you call it rose court not rose quartz that's white quartz and greenery from our backyard for the side table i kept it pretty simple we have lamp a little bit of greenery and napkin on the other side oh i forgot to show you guys the um backgammon underneath usually we have it closed but i was like let's just have it open you know it might encourage more people to play it i personally am a huge fan of backgammon and i love 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 playing it i honestly don't play it enough that's something that i need to do more of so i just thought as a decor piece we can have it open i don't know so we can at least get a little bit more use out of it and then on this side i just put again greenery um, anthropology coasters and anthropology tray and pretty much that is it pretty simple for the fireplace i didn't do anything we just had this um clear like candle holders just put them there to be honest with you during the day they don't look anything special but nighttime when it's like cozy when we light these um candles they give a vibe you know what i mean um i really like it i think i'm going to get a box to put here like a white box so we can put all of our remote controls in there and it also will add a little bit of a texture so that's one of the things i need to buy when i'm going to um what do you call it um, home goods tomorrow i still don't know what am i doing with this dining table all i know is that i want to change the runner so that would be the second thing I need to look for when I go to Home Goods. Um, and then we will change up the decor in there as well. I mean, they flow together because they're all obviously like clear. They're all from the white company. The candle holders are from the white company as well. But it's just not giving, you know, it's very like boring. I need a little bit texture, a little bit maybe color, um, maybe a little bit more greenery not sure would it be weird if you have flowers there and flowers here as well i don't think that would be weird you know what it is i'm really badly craving an olive tree and maybe just maybe i'll get an olive tree so we can put olive tree on that corner move this to this corner where the bar card was that is a mess right now that's why i'm not showing it to you but uh, we can move this to this side and then we can have like an olive tree there and then if we have like a bouquet of flowers here it's not gonna look odd but first things first is to change this table runner because I'm not a fan of this table runner anymore and here is the entryway which is honestly nothing next level it's just simple book candles candle holders and our tray with sunglasses and keys um, i have to put flowers in there i have not yet found out what i'm gonna put in there probably like a pretty tall branches of olive tree i saw one on amazon i'm gonna put an order for that um that could be cute we used to have like branches there but i'm kind of tired of that i want a little bit more of a leafy kind of a greenery there the shelf is not shelving to be honest with you and i'm too tired to go over it i just organized it a little bit better it's just the colors are not going the object heights are not going it needs a little bit more character which it does not have currently uh, but for the time being at least it looks put together even though it's not visually appealing but it's at least put together
let's see if I cook this egg perfectly, meaning crisp on the outside and runny yolk. Oh no, I overcooked it. Yep, overcooked it. Good morning, everyone. It is a very, very, very gloomy day. Like literally there is no sun in the sky. It was uh, raining like an hour ago and it's going to start raining in like 30 minutes and we're going to have rain pretty much all the day until like I think 8 p.m. Uh, but I'm kind of looking forward to it to be honest with you. I'm a little bit blurry eyed this morning because last night I had a lot of fun <laughs> and I'm a little bit delicate today. Um, so I don't remember when I um, spoke to you guys last year, yesterday. I think it was when I unboxed my Target pieces, which um, I think I'm going to show you guys in my bedroom in the next video because I did attach the uh, pictures on the wall, um, like the frames, but I'm not sure if I'm keeping them as they are because two of them were paintings that are attached to the frame. So I have to figure out how I can change that um, and then only like one of them is the actual picture frame so I need to still figure that out and I'm also waiting for the light to arrive so I'll show you guys my bedroom in my next video but I did change things around the living room which I think I showed you guys yesterday oh I forgot to tell you guys last night I went out with my girlfriends and uh, we went to this restaurant called Dama we were supposed to go to a very cool wine bar but before we go we realized that they don't have actual food and we were going for like a dinner um, because everybody was like hungry we planned to go for dinner and we realized the food there is pretty much snack so we're like let's just skip that and leave that for a day that we're not as hungry so i made a last minute reservation um, at this restaurant called dama which is one of my favorite restaurants the food is amazing the drinks are phenomenal um so we went there um and the food was amazing drinks were amazing as i expected and then afterwards we went to a um, hookah lounge um, I don't smoke shisha but my friends and my sister do so we went there and we got home really late why is my nose itchy Ooh. um so yeah we went there and then by the time we got home it was pretty late um so um yeah i'm a little bit delicate this morning um i had espresso martini and then afterwards i had latte so the combination of the two uh made me not sleep well and um recently in the mornings i'm trying to drink water before i drink coffee so i'm just getting to drink my coffee. I have heard so many people talk about it, how bad it is to drink coffee on an empty stomach and I'm really, really trying to be better at hydrating first and then um, having coffee. For someone who's a coffee lover like me, it's very, very hard, but I'm finally drinking. So after I drink my coffee, I'll have a better personality uh, but the plan of action for the day is uh, i'm gonna go to home goods i was gonna go to anthropology because i saw this gorgeous mug that they just launched but they don't have it in uh, the anthropology that is near uh, my house and i don't feel like driving all the way to pasadena um so that will be another day's plan uh, maybe i'll just order it online you know um we will figure that out but today i'm going to go to tj maxx and home goods hopefully um depending on how heavy the rain is uh, this is one thing about people from la not only we don't know how to handle winter we don't know how to handle rain either i actually wrote down a uh, list of the things i actually need one so i don't forget anything and two so i don't just buy random things that i actually don't need so we're gonna go ahead and do that and what else pretty much that is the plan of action for the day then i'm gonna come home and have a chill evening probably because like my brain and my body needs it my back is not feeling the best again after i moved around things yesterday and like i did just a little bit of heavy lifting um so i need to rest a little bit so it doesn't get worse by the way how gorgeous are my earrings oh and my ring actually you guys will see these in the next video i'm going to link it for you guys but we will talk about it in my next video speaking of new things i have to show you this coat that i just recently got it's stunning but i'll show you i mean i'm i'll show you now but we will talk about it in my next video because I cannot not show it to you. I wore this yesterday and you have no idea how many people complimented me on it. When I tell you this coat is a work of art, I'm not actually joking. First of all, 
the color is an absolute perfection you guys can't see it fully but again you guys will see that in my next video the color is stunning look at the texture of this coat like i'm not joking when i tell you like i am obsessed i wore this yesterday with my navy vest and i got so many compliments on it such a gorgeous one And it keeps you warm when i tell you last night it was one of the coldest nights like everybody else was freezing except me i was literally like the happiest person because this kept me so warm and cozy and it is so comfortable it's not one of those coats that like you feel restricted it is just stunning i mean i didn't do a good job of like tying it but if you're looking for a navy coat go for this one before it sells out because it's absolutely stunning no clever person leaves their umbrella in the car how am i supposed to get into my car with this rain while my umbrella is in the car just we made it i'm out of breath but we made it let's actually open this up it's kind of moody i have a fluff on my lip i should need to apply my lip oil Oh my god, I'm so out of breath. Oh, it's the podcast that I was listening to this morning. Oh my god, let me catch my breath. I'm very much still obsessed with the Summer Fridays lip oils. They are just the absolute best. They act like a gloss, but they're like so nourishing. Oh my god, I'm still out of breath. This is the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Two things before I go and before I forget. One, the shampoo that I used yesterday for hair shine, it did work, but it made my hair very flat and very oily too quickly. Yesterday I was, I was blow drying my hair. I noticed that it is pretty oily and I don't have oily hair whatsoever. So I have to give it another try and maybe use less. I feel like I used a bit too much because you look at it as a shampoo and because it doesn't lather like a traditional shampoo, I kept adding more. So next time I will actually section my hair and like, like comb it through and not use as much because I feel like I used a little bit too much. My hair overall is very flat. I mean, I just got rained on, but even yesterday it was very flat it didn't even hold the curl i curled my hair with my dyson airwrap and 90 percent of the time my hair holds the curl but it didn't so it's very like oily and like flat and unruly so that's the one thing i wanted to say i can't believe i'm still out of breath because i ran like literally for 30 seconds second thing i wanted to talk to you guys about was um you have to actually give me feedback on this one so you guys know or maybe you don't know but i stopped listening to self-help podcasts or books and all of that a year ago because it made me feel like this that i was this never-ending project that i always needed help that i always needed um to fix something and i just didn't like that feeling instead of thinking my, thinking about myself as someone who needs fixing i wanted to think of myself as someone who wants to improve long story short i walked away from a lot of very famous authors that they talk about self-development and all of that and a lot of like podcasts about that and here and there i, I will listen to people that i truly admire their vision recently i started actually writing down things uh, that like i listen and make a difference in me for example i listen to an hour and a half of podcast obviously in that hour and a half it a lot of things get discussed and not everything makes a difference in my brain or in my heart or in my soul but things that make a difference i started writing um, in my notes so i can basically refer back to them um, i decided to make them like public basically do like a weekly or monthly uh blog posts and mention things that i learned not everything is necessarily going to be like self-development 
in character department it can be beauty it can be fashion it can be life hack it can be so many things because i listen to so many different like podcasts um they're the same people but they interview with uh, different peoples it can be parenthood which obviously i'm not in that stage right now but i love to learn about it so um let me know if you guys would be interested in that i think it's a fun thing every once in a while when like for example i have like 10 15 things that i learned that week or that month i can make it um into a public like blog post so you guys can read about them as well i know a lot of people don't have the attention spam of listening to podcasts for like an hour and a half so they just don't do it whatsoever or they don't feel like listening to like audiobooks so i was just thinking of like basically having like a source that i can share with you guys everything that i learned that week about different topics so let me know if you guys will be interested in that i feel like it would be good for me to write those things and refer back to them but obviously they can help you guys as well without me rambling on let's go because it was raining and my poor mom is waiting for me under the rain I absolutely love them, but can you take the mirror off and actually put... Oh yeah, you can! Like, put the uh, picture in them. I really like this. And I love that one. Oh, they have so many beautiful gold frames. I love these ones too. I just got back from shopping it was a successful but at the same time not very successful i found a few items that i liked but to be honest with you i don't know if i'm going to keep everything it was one of those moments that i was like let me just add you to my card and then when i get home i'll decide if i want to keep you or not um went to marshall's went to home goods didn't make it to tj maxx uh, but i picked up a few bits and bobs that i'm going to show it to you guys and then Hopefully in the future I'll let you guys know if I decided to keep them or not because I have to use them in the space that I want them for. Um, starting with this like wine rack, which I got it for such a good price. It was $10 because the legs of it is damaged. And I asked my dad, my dad said he can fix it. Honestly, I don't even mind like taking this one off. It needs to have one of these screw things on it. Um, I can just take this one off as well and put it next to our bar card. I think um, this is actually a better way of organizing the bar because we have one too many wines. Um, as you guys know, I absolutely love wines. So we have one too many of them and I feel like this can hold our wine. So um, we can just put pretty much other drinks on the bar card. So the bar card is not as busy. And it was $10. So I was like, this is a good deal i mean the color is not perfectly i mean it's gold and the gold of the uh, bar card can match but we don't have anything brown there but you know what when we put the drinks on it you can't even see the brown mostly so i think this was a good purchase um i'll put it next to the bar um in a bit i'll know we'll show it to you guys and then i picked up this pillow that i don't know if i'm gonna keep it or not i wanted one decorative pillow for my uh bed and i wanted it to be this size and this like the reason that i got it to be honest with you mostly is the size the pattern is pretty i wanted something um with green undertone but the flowers are a little bit too big so i still don't know if i'm gonna keep this or not um the quality is amazing um, this was $35, so pretty expensive for like a decorative pillow from Home Goods. To be honest with you, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not, only because I think it's 
tad bit overpriced and I'm not like crazy about the pattern of it, you know So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Then I bought um, Just a couple of history bits. I don't like to shop way ahead of the time But I really like this plate. So I picked up two of that. They're perfect for like a tea party for um, Coffee, you know, you have cakes on them um, so that's what I picked up. I honestly don't know what store am I going with. Let me do the home goods bits first and then we'll move on to the Marshall bits. Um, I picked up a few frames because the frames that I got yesterday from TJ, no, from Target, I already attached it to my wall. All three of the ones that I told you guys I'm gonna keep, I put it on top of my bed, but it is missing like two small ones. So I just got this. Um, again, I don't know if I'm keeping this or not. You guys will see my bedroom like the core probably in the upcoming video um, So I got this I was like I can just Place it on top of it and see if it's gonna go with it. And then I found this one on sale um, I really like the um, design of it Got that and I also got these uh, Because again, it was a really good price. It was like um dollars and I really like the design of this one as well so I picked up all those three frames and then I was looking for a table runner which unfortunately they didn't have anything nice I ended up picking this one up that I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not it's basically two in one you can wear them I mean three in one you can wear all of them together wear them you can put all of them together on your table you can put only this one or you can put only this one so basically it's three table runners in one i have to open it and put it on our table i'm not crazy about this one um yeah i have to put it on our table and see if i like it i really like the design of this but i wish the underneath thing was white but it is not so and it's not the kind of green that i like i mostly like like a forest green so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna keep this or not i'm actually gonna uh, put this on our table probably tomorrow or tonight as soon as i have a chance oh my god my battery is flashing give me one second let me change it and be back now from marshall this is the best thing that i bought and you have no idea how like excited i am about it uh not crazy about i mean it's not ugly but it was such a good price i got this gorgeous like painting with this vintage looking uh frame for 17 dollars if i'm not mistaken yeah 16.99 um i would have kept the painting as it is but i want to like install it on my wall um with this direction and obviously the painting is with this direction so yeah just really really like it oh my god i just realized it doesn't have the um hanging thing from the other side so i have to have my dad attach it to it um, it only has a back thing for this kind of a situation. I don't know why am I so out of breath today. Anyway, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love the frame of it. So I have to figure out uh, what I'm going to put um, in this frame. Um, Walgreen has this prints that they come with adhesive like paper. So basically you just peel off and attach it to whatever you want. I mean, the painting on this is really pretty. I wouldn't ideally want to ruin it, but that's the option that probably I have to go if I decide to keep these frames that I can't change their um, painting pretty much. Um, so that's one thing that I got. And then got this candle, to be honest with you, for the jar of it. It doesn't smell the best, but it's not bad. It's very fresh, like bathroomy, but the jar was so cute. So I picked up that one. Picked up this that smells glorious, but the jar is not the best. This is amber and saffron, and I cannot begin to tell you how gorgeous this smells. Like it's phenomenal. So in case you go to, um, I got this from Marshalls. Just grab this candle. It's stunning, but obviously it's just simply black. I thought maybe we can use this for a bathroom or even. Even here it would look cute. And then I picked up this one again for the jar of it because look how cute is the jar. This one smells really good as well, but the, the jar is like so chic. When I finish this, you guys know I have a collection of finished uh, candles. I just thought I can use it, use this as a decorative purposes as well. Um, I got this for my bedroom. I think I have one more candle. Oh, I grabbed the birthday card because you can never have one too many birthday cards. This is another candle that I picked up because of the jar. 
I mean, it doesn't smell that bad and it was on sale, I believe. Yeah, it was on sale for $10 and the jar of it is kind of cute. Um, I got this for our guest bathroom and I just thought this is gorgeous. I can actually use this in my bathroom as, not bathroom, in my bedroom as well. It depends. I still have not yet decided how am I decorating everything. I need to buy everything and then just start playing with it and see what kind of height uh, do I need. If I need something big, I'll go with this one. If I need something small, I can go with this one. But I basically wanted pretty um, jars. Um, also, the smell is important, but mostly I was paying attention to how they look, to be honest with you. That is everything. I thought I got more stuff. Apparently not. I just put the wine rack um, here and I really, really like it. The only thing is that it's next to the fireplace and we do turn it on. I mean, it doesn't get hot here. No, I think it will be fine. Um, and also, this is just a temporary kind of a situation. But yeah, the wine rack is thing. I really like it. Um, I think it's um, a great addition if you have one too many drinks. You can just get the wine rack so they're like separated from all your other drinks. I mean, we do have one rosé there. But besides that, the remaining of the alcohols are like pretty much hardly here and the ones have their own separate room which i kind of like it good morning it is a gloomy where am i going okay we're gonna go to ralph's or should we go to bonds we're gonna go to bonds actually good morning everyone it is a glorious rainy day but the um lighting is so bright that my eyes are sensitive hence why i have my glasses on they need to be cleaned really really badly my sleep last night was horrendous i had the worst dreams of my life and it was not a joy i went to bed super early because i was really tired and i knew i have to wake up early today and i have a lot a lot of things that i need to get done today my cousins are coming over and i had like last minute shopping that i have to do they're coming for lunch slash coffee so um yeah i knew i have to get a lot of things done today so i was like let me just go to bed early i have no plans and the night before i didn't sleep well um either so i was like great opportunity to sleep no i went to bed early but woke up like around like 12 from a horrendous dream and then um went back to bed again woke up at 2 a.m with the horrendous dream it just was one horrendous dream after another one um then i woke up thirsty it just was horrific until like it was six in the morning i was like i'm giving up i am no longer capable of having different kind of like bad dreams so i was like i'm done let's just not sleep anymore <laughs> because i just can't so i am very very tired my eyes are so sore um uh, but um i have a lot that i need to get done today I have done most of the shopping yesterday, but there are just very few bits and bobs that I need. I want to make espresso martini. I don't even know if they're a fan of espresso martini or not. Sorry, I have to keep holding my camera because road work and we keep like jumping. I'm not sure if they're a fan of espresso martini, but I want to make one for myself. So they're gonna have that as well no i'm joking i'm getting that margarita mix as well very few bits and bobs that i actually need so i just thought i'll come get that done and then we're gonna go home and i want to uh, do a little cheese board like snack board and what else and that is pretty much it my mom cooked the actual lunch so not doing anything on that department uh, but I'm in charge of drinks and um, also the snacks so I just got to Vons let's go and see I want Bailey's because I have everything else um, the espresso martini recipes that I look online they seem fairly easy uh, but I think it's the most important thing is the ratio of the like what you put in there um, if their ratio is not correct it can be horrible so I'm just gonna go get uh, Bailey's because personally I love Bailey's on ice on its own um, so even if I don't use it for espresso martini I can drink it on its own uh, and it's Sunday and I'm tired so I need coffee alcohol and hydration and all of that then espresso martini in my opinion is all of that I got everything that you need to make Bailey's 
um, I got not Baileys, my espresso martini. I got the Baileys, and I also got a margarita mix because I don't know if my cousins love espresso martini. I don't think they do. I don't know. Anyway, got a margarita mix, and I also got um, simple syrup because in all the recipes for espresso martini they needed simple syrup. The only thing I'm missing is the coffee, like beans, uh, but we don't use that kind of a coffee, so I just don't want to buy. An entire bag and basically waste it so i have to think of something else maybe i'll sprinkle a little bit of like uh, instant coffee uh, just for the vibes of it um question not that you can answer me right now but why is bailey so expensive the last time i bought bailey's was like I think years ago um i haven't had like bailey's in a long time but um, because usually when I go out, I order it. Like I don't drink Bailey's at home. That's why I usually don't get it. Um, last time I bought it, I remember it used to be like seventeen dollars, eighteen dollars. How many years ago was that? It was not. I promise you, it was not that long ago. Um, it was on sale for thirty dollars. So yeah, I better put this into a good use. Anyway. Um, I am oh I have to go to the bank and then I'm gonna go home um, but I wanted to circle back on my shopping yesterday so I don't know about you but every single time that I buy a candle from Marshall Home Goods and TJ Maxx I regret it yesterday um, I turned on the uh, black jar uh, which was something in saffron it was amber and saffron i don't remember exactly i turned that one on which is the strongest among all the other ones that i bought and it was on, like it was burning for about like two hours good two hours and one they don't burn equally ever there is not like it has never happened that i buy a candle from any of these stores that they burn equally they always 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 have like that little um vax around them it doesn't matter how small or how big they are um and then the second thing is that it only smells good in the jar when you start burning it it doesn't smell like anything maybe like if you go super close to it you can smell it I don't know if you guys had this experience or not, but like literally that's the case every single time. That's why I go for bougie candles because yes, you pay more, but at the same time, they last you longer and they smell better and the smell actually spreads through the house. Yesterday, the area, like I burned it in my bedroom, so it's not like a big area, but even that it couldn't like, the, the scent of it was not sp spread around. So I actually think I'm going to return the other candles that I got, the two other candles that I have not yet burned because yes, the jar is gorgeous and all of that, but if they're not going to smell, um, what's the whole point of like candles? Like I don't want just to burn something for the aesthetic. I mean, yes, that's a part of it, but at the same time, I want the smell of it as well. So I think I'm going to return those two, but I'm very, very curious to know if you guys had that like, same experience or not. Um, I mean, they're not any like well-known brands that I got. Maybe there are some like well-known brands at the stores that they don't do. They don't do the same. But anyway, very disappointed in that. And I remembered because if you guys know me, you know I'm a very bougie candle girl. I usually don't buy candles from these stores because of this exact same reason. And it has been a long time that I haven't done that. But I just wanted something a little bit different than my usual diptyque or Lalabo ones because they all look aesthetically the same. So I just wanted one for like a like as a gorgeous like um what do you call it jar. The small one I really like the jar of that one especially the fact that it comes with the lid. It's so chic. So maybe I'll keep that one but the other big one I think I'm going to return it. Um, and the black one obviously I have already burned so I can't return it even though I'm not very happy with it But yeah, that's that um, The table runner not a fan of it. I put it on the table um, And didn't like it. So that is going back as well um, But what else? Oh the pillow as much as I like it But when I put it on my bed, I didn't like the look of it. So 
yeah that is going back as well i just wanted to keep you guys updated on what i'm keeping what i'm returning from yesterday's shopping spree i absolutely love the wine rack it's so cute i think i showed it to you guys i absolutely love that one that was the best thing that i have gotten i usually don't get like great deals but that was a fantastic deal um with that being said i'm going to love you and leave you because i know for the remaining of the day i'm not going to be able to vlog we have 10 12 people coming over so it's going to be a pretty busy day um and i'm not going to be able to pick up my camera a lot so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i will see you guys in my next video bye